Happy holidays. So no. Hi guys, welcome back. Um, happy holidays. Actually, no, not happy holidays because I'm recording this um, during the Christmas holidays, but it probably won't publish for three months, so it'll be March or something and it'll be me going, happy holidays. Hey folks, welcome back to the Church of Beloved Presence. I am your High Priestess of Holy Shit, Leslie Davidson. So we're continuing on with our uh, core principles or core values of the church. And uh, number two, seek your truth, speak your truth. Find out what's true to you. It's probably the most important thing you can do for yourself uh, is to find out what is true for you. Uh, find out what is authentic for you in your life and then stand by it and then speak it regardless of the pushback. I know it's a, it's a hard ask because it can be a tough thing to do, uh, but it's really important, not only for your happiness, uh, but also to show others around you in your life that speaking your truth is worth it uh, and it's necessary and um, it can be done. I value truth probably above almost all things. I... I value truth more than love because I don't think you can have real love without truth. I would always prefer an ugly truth over uh, a beautiful lie every day. And I don't think real love can exist without honesty and truth. And it doesn't mean you have to be a bludgeon with your truth. You don't have to speak truth in in a way that cuts like if you speak a truth with the intention to hurt someone you're an asshole like that's it's not necessary truth doesn't have to be harmful but at the same time if speaking your truth does hurt someone that might be on them <laughs> might be Seek your, your truth, speak your truth as best as you can. Uh, my brother once told me very scoffingly and dismissively, oh you and truth regardless of the consequences. And I'm like, what are the consequences of truth? I mean, to me, there are no consequences of, of truth if you don't want to manipulate outcomes. If you don't want to have um, control, if you don't want to control how people see situations or perceive yourself, uh, if you don't have any interest in manipulation or control, truth doesn't have any bad consequences. It is just truth. It's neutral. It's your truth. Uh, speak your truth. Seek your truth in all areas of your life. Deceit is a coward's game. Deceit is a way for you to try and manipulate. Deceit is a way for you to try and get your way. Uh, and I think it's unfair. It's unfair to others. It's unfair to not give people the right to choose for themselves with all the information, with the truth. It's not fair for, uh, for us to try and manipulate and control other people. It's just not right. It's not right and it's not fair. And I think it's bullshit. So seek your truth. Speak your truth. I think it's... Well, it's the second value. It's the second value of the Church of Beloved Presence for a reason. Because it's fucking awesome. I mean, truth is really awesome. It really is. Like, truth... <sighs> truth spoken without expectation, with just the hope of delivering truth is freeing for most people. It can be hurtful, but we, you know, you're not going to die. And then what you have left is truth. Another's truth. Pretty lies are bullshit. I'm not, 
I, I'm not interested in pretty lies. Ugly truth. Beautiful truth. I'm just rambling now. But that's it. That's, uh, that's core values too. Okay, so thanks for listening. I appreciate you being here. I appreciate you listening to me, uh, to jumping on board with this. And uh, is it loving and inclusive? Talk to you soon. Thanks.